Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter, where you join us for our service of night prayer or Compline on Monday, the 18th of July 2022. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards, and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England, we are asked to remember today Elizabeth Verard, first deaconess of the Church of England, founder of the community of St. Andrew, 1883. A few words about Elizabeth Verard. Elizabeth Catherine Farrard was encouraged by Bishop Tate of London to visit deaconess institutions in Germany and in November 1861 she and a group of women dedicated themselves to minister to the necessities of the church as servants of the church. On this day in 1862 Elizabeth Farrard received the first deaconess license from Bishop Tate. She went on to found a community of deaconesses within a religious sisterhood, the community of St. Andrew, working first in a poor parish in the King's Cross area of London and then moving to Notting Hill in 1873. When her health failed, she passed on the leadership to others and died on Easter Day, 1883. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our traditional hymn is spoken. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 4 is, In peace I will lie down and sleep. In peace I will lie down and sleep. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you... Nobles, dishonour my glory. How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. In peace I will lie down and sleep. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. In peace I will lie down and sleep. Give us today, O God, a glad heart and a clear conscience, that when we come to this day's end, 
we may rest in peace with Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our short scripture reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest you shall be saved, in quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our Gospel Canticle this evening is the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Gracious God, on this day of exceptional heat, we ask for your grace and your protection of all those who are vulnerable to the rays of your glorious sunshine. We pray that everyone is protected and that there are, there are enough resources in order to help those who this day and tomorrow fall sick. Protect us with your loving kindness. And in a moment of silence, we think of all those for whom we have concerns, both close to us and afar. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our service of night prayer or Compline this evening. Stay safe in these exceptional circumstances. And I look forward to sharing morning prayer with you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock and night prayer at six o'clock tomorrow, Tuesday. Good night. <laughs>